Welcome to my ninth tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to cover multi-dimensional arrays. For now, two-dimensional arrays, but you can use multi-dimensions. They're um, declared similar to arrays, but it's a little bit different. So I'm going to declare arrays that I'm going to multi-dimensional array that I'm going to call matrix. It will have ten elements, uh, ten rows, and ten elements. You see or 10 rows and 5 elements but we are going to put 10 for now um, so we can uh, just like in array we can change values and set values uh, read values from the matrix because it's in integer type we can do something like this matrix of 0 and 0 this is the first element it's going to be equal to 10 for example and matrix of um, 9 and 9 is going to be equal to 5 so the first and last element of the matrix will be first is, ten, uh, first is 10 and the last is 5 we can display those values like ordinary like ordinary array or variable, use the cout command as well out, and when we run it, we can see that we've got, okay, we've got 10, because we set the first value to be 10. Okay, but, if you want to initialize the, the whole array, multi-dimensional array, we should use two for loops. The first for loop is going to go from 0 to 9 and the second for loop is going to loop through elements of the current row the first for loop loops through rows and the second will get through this and the second will loop through um, the loop through elements we have also 10 elements we are going to loop from 0 to 9 and we can set the current uh, row and the variable that holds the current element we call that position in the array and set it to zero uh, when we run this program we'll notice that the first element now has zero we declared it to be 10 we can check the last element also um, Five. I can it to be zero, so there should be a little problem. But I'm going to see. Oh, sorry. If you see, I've um, I didn't type J here. I typed I, and that was the problem. It only looked to this value. Is it now? It will be zero. So now I'm looping uh, through all uh, rows and in each row I loop through all elements from the row. This is the current element, this variable uh, contains the current element and this variable contains the current uh, row. We can display uh, with this uh, for loop, we can two for loops, we can also display the whole matrix. Uh, we're not going to set values, we're going to say it will be it will be equal to this and as you can see I'm making a blank here so we can see elements normally and we need a new line here in order to break between each row to have a new line if I didn't if I don't type this it will look nasty but if I add this you can see it very nice uh, this zero is uh, from our cout command. I can just comment that, and as you can see, that's the whole matrix. It's very simple to use matrix. It's all it's all like arrays. Uh, you can they are used for uh, games typically or some programs that store values in arrays. It can be used uh, for the 
number of elements in the array is calculated by multiplying these two sizes. Um, the number of elements in this matrix is uh, 100, because 10 multiplied 10 is 100. And let's, um, that's something about uh, simple usage of arrays. You can also sum elements from arrays and you can do anything like with ordinary variable. It only depends on the type of the array that we declare. And that's something simple about arrays. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. In the next tutorial, I'm going we are going to make a simple game that will be uh, that will use arrays. It's very simple, uh, but um, it should be interesting for you. Um, that's that's it, I guess. Uh, if you have some questions, please post comment or PM me via YouTube. I will be glad to help you and answer your questions. And uh, as I said in the next tutorial, we are going to make a game, so stay tuned.